hello 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 everybody welcome back to my channel this is rosie and welcome to all my returning subscribers as well as anybody new welcome welcome and today i have an exciting dollar tree haul for you and it is amazing it is all the wish list items i have for halloween and um the fall so without further ado I'm going to get right to. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, my sense of humor. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. The first item, oh my gosh. I have been on the hunt for this. I think they had this little guy last year, but oh my goodness. Is this not the cutest little ghosty you've ever seen in your life? And wait for it look at that his little eyes change colors and then it goes fast look at that purple green red blue purple green red blue ooh, ooh. <laughs> so anyway guys that is that isn't that the cutest thing for a dollar and this is like a little ceramic one so you could put this on a tiered tray or on a you know your hutch or on your table wherever you'd like on your window sill with the little lights flashing isn't that adorable i got three of these because i i could not believe these for a dollar and they're like at least six seven inches tall so this is a great find i mean you go, you're going to go to, uh, you know, at home or Home Goods or any of those stores. You're going to pay at least $6 for one of these guys. So I thought this was so cute. And it just says Light Up Ceramic Ghosts. And it's the Halloween collection. So adorable. Yep. <laughs> adorable. Um, Next, I found was this Happy Halloween sign and it is called decor but look at that with the pumpkin in the middle and the cat i thought this was super cute oh and a bat there and a bat there and everywhere um so i thought this was really cute i'm gonna try my hand at um what i've seen on instagram i think it is and on facebook it is um people have been posting on the dollar tree community pages and that that they've done the Dollar Tree t-shirts and they sprayed um, bleach on them and put this, you know, like a stencil and then like put it in a spray bottle, the bleach and water, um, equal parts bleach and equal parts water um, on the t-shirt and you put this on the t-shirt and then you spray it with that mixture and it the um, image comes out obviously because you're spraying it with the bleach. So I thought I'd give my hand no, give my hand. Give my uh, give it a try. I'll say that. Okay. Um, the next item I found. Do, 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 do. Let's see. This is for the fall, and it is a little harvest pumpkin. Isn't he cute? And it is a metal with the raffia tie. So I thought that was so cute. Buffalo check. Very cute. Um, you know what I'll show next? These. These were, they're considered from the Crafter Square, but they weren't in the Crafter Square aisle. They're with the Halloween stuff. And look at these beautiful ornaments. Now, if you have a Halloween tree like I do, I have a big four foot tall tree. Um, this is not going to fit those small little trees that the Dollar Tree has um, floating around at the Dollar Tree, even though they're super adorable, but they won't, I mean, these are too big for that. So this has the spider webs um, in the orange and then the black bulb here with the like um, glitter and there's like four of them. Oh, no, how many are in here? Six, six, five. I can't count. It says five right on the package. <laughs> So five ornaments. So I thought that was cute. And, you know, you can use that as a vase filler. Just put a vase with, you know, these. If you don't like to decorate too much for Halloween, it's up to you. If you don't, 
hey, that's also your choice. Um, the next ones I found, <laughs> these were incredible. Look at the eyeballs on these. Look at, <laughs> there's few plain black and then there are two eyeballs. You know, look like he had a good night out, huh? <laughs> a little tired there. But there is, like I said, five pieces in these. Very cute. And the next one is these purple ones with the black web. Spider web. So aren't these cute? Five of those. I went a little overboard on the ornaments department. <laughs> And then I got another one here with the eyeballs and the plain black. So all in all, I got four tubes of those, which is 20 ornaments and all. Um, and then look what I found for the little, sorry, pardon my reach. I'm sorry, I'm reaching down in the, where I have my bags. Um, the little tree, the 24 inch tree, I think it is, or 18 inch that the Dollar Tree carries for Halloween, or you can get one at another store, up to you if you find them. And this is the little Halloween ornaments to put on the little Halloween tree. So there is 16 pieces, little ornaments in this one. And this is all that beautiful iridescent purple. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that purple color. The next one is all black. So there's 16 pieces and the little ornaments in black. Super, super cute. And then, I think this is, next to the purple, this is my favorite because it'll stand out in one of those little um, Halloween trees. Is this beautiful orange. Look at that. There's 16 pieces in all. So, so cute. Can't believe. Oh, Dollar Tree. You're killing it. Killing it, killing it. And the next Halloween item, look at this. Oh my goodness. Cookie cutters, there's three of them. They're the metal, they're not the plastic cheapies. These will last you a while. And I love that it's a pumpkin, um, a bat, and a cat. Isn't that cute? There's three of them in a package. And the next package, they had, I think, another design in a three pack, but. I like this one. It had the skull one, the little ghosty, and the little uh, gravestone. R.I.P. So, well, that's in the cardboard, but you get the picture, right? So, these are so cute. There's three in a pack, and these are metal, like I said. They're not the cheapy plastic. So, I like that. That was really cute. Can't wait to make little cookies out of it. And then... In the crafter square all right these were with the halloween look at these cute mason jars they're um or craft bottles it's not really a mason jar but i want you to see these are not the plain ones these have the buffalo check on the top on the lid so look at this is that not the cutest thing and the label comes off and voila <laughs> that is super adorable i thought you know for a tear <coughs> oh excuse me tickle my throat a tear tray or just any decor that you want to put beautiful you could put this with candy put candy corn in there put a little bow give it as a gift um anything buttons you name it you could put in here so isn't that cute I just thought they were really super cute. And then I got one, another one of the same with the buffalo check top, black and white. Super cute for crafts or just putting whatever you want in them. Then this one, I was excited, excited, <laughs> excited to find. It is this beautiful infinity scarf. And this was with the Halloween stuff. But look at this. Isn't that cute with the orange and black buffalo check? You don't have to use it as a scarf. You could use it on your head. You could cut it up, use it on your head, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, put it on a purse, whatever you want to do. But um, usually the ones that aren't infinity scarves are better for your head wrap and to put on a purse. But 
this I thought was so cute and I could put it with a plain black t-shirt and dress it up, you know, for near Halloween or just for any time, really, you know, for the black t-shirt or a shirt. That would be awesome. Yeah. Isn't that cute? I love it. Love it, love it. All right. The next item was on my wish list. Oh, that scarf wants to come again. Come over here. <laughs> All right. It was the Hamsa hand or Hamsa hand. Look at this. No, it's not a Hamsa hand. What is it called? It is, I don't know what it's called. Palm, palmistry hand, whatever. But I thought it was so cool. Look, at, it has the evil eye in there to ward off evil eye. Um, it has so many different designs on it. It is small, but they have something like this. Well, of course, it's a lot bigger and it's porcelain. But for $12.99 um, in the at-home store. So to get it for a dollar, I wasn't willing to part with $12.99 for one. I, you know, I just was going to put it in a tray or something. But for a buck I figure yeah okay I'll do that for a buck but just take a look at them um I was just grabbing stuff because it was in a box and I got kind of a janky one in the the black and white I guess this one it, it's got little imperfections here and it was like a little thing here so just take a look at them before you buy them I mean it's not a big deal for me because I'll just put them together in a tray or something but i thought that was a super cool find like i said 12.99 a big one well you know maybe about three or four times the size of these for 12.99 at the at home store and i've seen them like at least the cheapest one i've seen is like 10 bucks so i wasn't willing to spend that much on those but for a dollar yeah <laughs> and then the next thing i thought was super super cool the see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. These are the skeletons, and they're not the plastic like last year. These are like the ceramic or resin. Um, look at this guy. He's He's got his hands over his eyes, cause, so he, he sees no evil. And he's got a like a yoga pose. He's, he's chilling out. He's not seeing anything. All right. The next one. Oh, it's the same one. Never mind. <laughs> uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, speak no evil. And there he is. There's this one. I mean, the detail on these is pretty incredible for a dollar. Like, look at that. He is so cool. And it looks like an antique piece, you know, the way the it's kind of weathered there. So it would go with like a neutral decor or something if you didn't want to do too much for Halloween or whatever, you know, whatever you want to do. And then this one here, no evil. And this is the last one. So in that collection. So look at him. Look at the detail on him. He's just sitting with his knees up. I can't hear anything. <laughs> Remember when we used to do that as a kid? I can't hear you. <laughs> that was so funny. I, I remember doing that as a kid. But look at the detail. That's just what kills me. For a buck. I keep saying for a dollar, for a dollar. But it is incredible, the stuff you find at Dollar Tree for a buck, you know. Because these are knockoffs of, like, the home decor, at, like, home, 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 at home, home goods, um, you know, all those kind of stores, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, all that stuff. So, I mean, if you could get it for a dollar and do your little decorating, you know, on a budget, like I do, that's what I do. I don't spend a lot of money on my decor, you know. I like to switch it out very often. So, there's your tip. Just go to the DT and see what you find. And um, I couldn't pass up these little retro-looking trick-or-treat bags. I don't usually get trick-or-treaters because I live in a townhouse, but... And they still, kids don't come door to door. But I figure I could give these to my daughter. There's just eight of them in a pack. I mean, even you could decoupage this because they're, you know, paper bags. 
decoupage them on a plate or put them in a frame or whatever you want to do with these. There's only uh, eight of them, eight treat bags for a dollar. So I thought these were super cute. And I'm loving the cute little cutesy ghost theme this year that they're doing in a lot of the stores. The ghost with the cute little face, you know, like this. Like, they have like a sweet face. I don't like the scary stuff. So um, I just love that cute little ghost. And then my final item, guys. You're not going to believe this. Look at this sign. It says welcome, and it's in a coffin shape. And on the back, it says trick or treat with a skull and bats. This sign, I mean, it's particle board. It's not going to be, you know, weatherproof or anything like that. But if you keep it in an enclosed area in your porch or something, or put it by your door, whatever you want to do, put, keep it inside for decor, um, come on. I keep saying for a dollar, and I just, my, my mind is blown. I really can't, can't take it for a dollar. Look at this. And two sides, not just one. I mean, I've seen signs like this, like I said, probably go for at least close to 20 bucks in the store. I've granted they're bigger, they probably would. But, you know, if you're going to change it out every season like I do, I have stuff from last year that I can mix and match. From the DT and other places. So I'm not going to go crazy on a budget. You know, I'm on a budget. I'm, I'm not going to spend, you know, you know, twenty thirty dollars on something that I'm only going to use a little bit. And then, you know, either give it away or save it. You know, I could save it for next year, but probably next year won't be that great. So I'll find something else to replace it with. <laughs> so anyway, guys, um, I want to say a quick thank you to um, Broke budget fashionista i think her channel name is her name is carmen so broke budget fashionista thank you so much for um shouting out my channel on her on your channel <laughs> so she shouted me out on her channel and she put my channel name on there i thought that was so nice thank you so much um so i appreciate it very much so anyway guys this is the end of my video this is a little bit long one and i still have another bag couple bags to go so anyway um take care and remember guys let's lift each other up not put each other down okay have a blessed day bye bye till my next one